Well, you know, we're making videos today. Might as well show you what we're doing with the uh, cutting the Y mount to extend it. Now, I already cut it once from here to here, gave me an extra inch and a half. And at the time I was running, I was planning on running single ball nuts. And uh, that's all the travel I really wanted. I can get more, but I didn't really want to. Now in this case, because this mill is going to be working side by side with the PM940, it has almost 14 inches of travel without cutting this area out. Which if for some parts, if I want to do a wider part and I want the code to match both mills, then I might as well try to get as much Y travel out of this as I can. So how much can I get? It's literally, the ball nut goes underneath here and it will hit the front right there. So I'm going to go another three quarters of an inch and uh, that's all I can really get out of here unless I wanted to go to a different ball nut. So there is another way to, I could get more if I really wanted to, but I mean the, the Y slide is going to be hanging off most of the way anyhow. I don't anticipate having to use that much Y travel virtually ever. And the main reason is I have two mills and, well I have five mills, but uh, Anyhow, so a lot of people ask about cutting them because they have to cut them. You can cut them on the uh, G704, and on those you can cut 0.8 inches out. You got the PM25, which you can cut an inch out of also, um, but it doesn't really give you that much. The uh, PM30, you really you can only do a little bit on the PM30 because the travels are actually really long on it anyhow. So um, I am going to cut the uh, PM932 to get a little bit more Y and it actually needs it. And the PM940 doesn't really need it. I mean, you can get more out of it if you want. So the main idea here is just to show, now I drilled two pilot holes already. And I could put this on the mill. Um, I don't have a helper right now and I don't feel like doing it. And it's really not that critical. This is about a half inch thick, so it's a thick piece. You drill two holes big enough so you can get a jigsaw in there and then you just jigsaw and it actually works okay. So rather than put it on the mill today, we're just gonna, I got a uh, half inch drive, low speed drill. And this drill, the chuck has always been crappy.
good enough for that. I'm going to grab the uh, jigsaw. So what we have here is, I've got a couple different versions of them. It's not anything fancy. These are your cheaper Bosch bimetal blades. And you can probably even get by with a uh, coarser tooth. These are 18 teeth. Cast iron is actually soft. The only problem with cast iron, one, you don't want to necessarily use lubricant. It just makes it harder to cut. And uh, it does dull out tools. If you don't go too fast, you'll be fine. So I got a couple extra blades. And so we'll do it right here. Now, ideally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, and I should draw a line. And uh, you start from the middle because it's going to want to start from the middle. You can draw an arch down, and it'll be a straight cut to there so you won't really see your hole. That isn't really the best line. My pen's not working. That's okay.
Now we'll hand file this out just a little bit, and that's all we're going to do. So this is the uh, Y mount. I have a basically a test Y screw sitting in here. And those are your double nuts. And they're almost touching the front of the mill. This isn't the exact mount that I'll be running on here, but it's from the 940, which they're real similar. So if you take your tape measure, measure from there to the very back where it's going to hit, it says 14 inches. Now you ever really get 14 because you're going to have, you know, your vise sticking off and your way guards and all that, but it wouldn't be unimaginable to get 13 inches out of this, which is actually fine. Most of the time if, if I do parts, I plan on like 12 inches or so. So that's going to be it. The front of this is kind of similar to uh, the I8 or the uh, PM940 where you got to bit the larger hole in there, which is exactly the way we're going to do this one. Um, actually, I'm going to move this one down a little bit. So uh, there's reasons for that. So anyhow, so that's it. Thanks, guys.